All right, hey VC Vinyl community, uh, I'm Jamie. Welcome back once again for another uh, another upload, another edition. Uh, a lot of CDs on this one. Uh, yesterday I was at uh, St. Mary's Public Library, the Friends of the Library, having a, a sale, a book sale. And of course with a book sale from a library, you know that also means likely CDs. And uh, certainly no exception on this one. Uh, picked up a few. And uh, again, they are awesome that it's uh, simply by donation only. So... Uh, it's Friends of the Library, and it's at the St. Mary's Town Hall. If you're in that area, it uh, continues both today and tomorrow. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get to these, and hopefully we'll try to squeeze in some vinyl as well. I didn't pick up any vinyl at the sale. But in terms of the CDs, picked up pretty much the Sade collection, which I was quite surprised to see, and I've always been such a fan of Sade, such a wonderful vocalist. And uh, this uh, being her, her her biggest album for sure, uh, Diamond Life with Smooth Operator, Your Love is King, just smooth, soulful. And uh, yeah, so there's the Sade's uh, Diamond Life, and then Sade Stronger Than Pride, which has the uh, very cool hit Paradise. There's the track listing there. And then, there you have And then Sade Love Deluxe. Again, these are all from the library sale. It's a uh, get rid of their Sade collection. And there you go. And then Sade, uh, Lovers Rock. I'm not even familiar with this particular album. Uh, this one came out in uh, 2000. Which kind of surprised me, because I think Sade is just an absolutely terrific artist. But there you go. And these also uh, could be uh, donations. Uh, some of them could be donations to, to the uh, library book sale. Uh, yeah, The Essential Nina Simone, Volume 2. Uh, picked this up at the sale. And uh, yeah, really starting to get into a Nina Simone. I've been watching a few films on uh, Nina Simone, just her incredible uh, career, certainly troubled career, but absolutely amazing. What a vocalist. Oh my gosh, passionate. So this is a Essential Volume 2. And uh, yeah, uh, Pat Metheny Group picked up a couple of Pat Metheny CDs at uh, the library sale. Uh, certainly an artist I know of, but I don't really know a lot of Pat Metheny stuff. This is Still Life Talking, and... See if we can get a year on this. Uh, 1987. And then uh, Pat Metheny Group, uh, Blue, Blue Asphalt. And this is from 19... Recorded live in 77, but uh, possibly not released till 91. Not sure. That's early Pat Metheny, great jazz guitarist, uh, worked with David Bowie at one time, and Pat Metheny's Secret Story. And this one came out in 92. Very, very colorful there. All right, yeah, Pat Metheny group. Okay, and also from the sale, a couple of Coldplay CDs. I've got a soft spot for Coldplay. I like Coldplay. Some people don't, but uh, there we have uh, this one. And I'm never quite sure how to pronounce this, so I'll just let you see it. Yeah, certainly Coldplay is one of those groups I really don't mind. But they're a group uh, that's sort of easy to poke fun at, too. Certainly they have their fans, that's for sure. And, of course, this classic. And this one has the Coldplay True Tones for your mobile card uh, included. Remember when this was all the rage for sort of early 2000s? Oh, my goodness. Okay, there you go. Uh, picked up this uh, again from the uh, the library book sale. Um, I mentioned that I've done community theater, and I was actually in a production of this show, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. This is a musical, and it's quite a fun musical. It may not be one, one you're familiar with, but it really, uh, I think it came out in the, initially in the 60s. It has that real si sort of 60s feel to it, and the music does too. But it really says a lot about the, the business world. And how we conduct ourselves in the business world. 
And the music's good, and it's, yeah, it's uh, some, some biting satire. Let's see what's on the back of that CD. This looks like a nice uh, CD reissue of it. Lots of stuff. And this is on the, yeah, through the original MGM motion picture soundtrack uh, reissues. Uh, as I recall, they did quite a nice job with the CD reissues of this. So, yeah, that's one. That's where, if, you, if you like musicals, whatnot, uh, one worth checking out. Okay, and uh, still from the sale, we've got uh, Enya's. I believe Enya's first album. This is uh, simply titled Enya. And uh, this came out in 1986. In a very, I don't know how you describe it, New Age, Celtic, smooth Celtic uh, sounds. I do love her voice and her general presentation overall. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick, uh, pick this up or not uh, from the sale. Uh, Twin Peaks, uh, the soundtrack. And I always thought this was a kind of a nice, you know, moody kind of soundtrack. Of course, the uh, David Lynch uh, series. And I was never quite sure who did the music for this. And it's uh, Angelo Badalamenti. Badalamenti? There it is down there. But certainly the title track alone, the Twin Peaks theme, is great. So, yeah, I've never really heard the full soundtrack, so uh, looking forward to that. Okay, and we've got uh, Harry Connick Jr., uh, 25. Pick this up on the sale. You know, you got Stardust. You know, lots of good stuff on here. You don't hear as much from Harry Connick Jr. these days, but... Columbia label. And one more from the sale, uh, just one Christmas CD uh, that I picked up. I uh, wasn't even uh, familiar with this. Ray Charles celebrates a gospel Christmas with the Voices of Jubilation. Uh, looks interesting. And this came out in 2004, and this is an enhanced CD that apparently uh, contains two music videos. So there's the cover, and there's the selection on the back. You can see it's an enhanced uh, CD there with uh, two bonus videos. I'll have to see if this works on the uh, computer or not. But, uh, yeah. Didn't even know he had put this out, so. But certainly with Christmas CDs, there's always lots of, <laughs> lots of CDs or lots of Christmas albums that you weren't even aware an artist put out a Christmas CD or anything like that. Okay, so that's a selection, uh, certainly from the uh, St. Mary's uh, Public Library, uh, Friends of the uh, Library Sale. And so we do have time to uh, take a look at a few uh, vinyl uh, purchases. Uh, this is, uh, again, these are the used uh, copies uh, from the sort of the Motown series. If you do come across these ones, these are very good value for your money. Uh, this is Diana Ross and the Supremes uh, Anthology. And this one is a three-album set, and it gives you lots of music, and it opens up in a very nice gatefold like this. And unfortunately, they don't have the song listings quite on the back. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get close enough to show you sort of what's in there, but it's a three-album set. You know, it's got it's got all the great Supremes Motown hits. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, take a look at uh, some of the vinyl. Uh, we've got sort of different. Uh, it all all looks like this, but I've got. Uh, there are almost like three different sleeves. They got a plastic one, and then it came with this <laughs> capital sleeve, which uh, doesn't make sense. But uh, there you go. That gives you sort of an in indication. But so uh, you know, Diana Ross and the Supremes, just classic, classic Motown. And nice to see that they did this as a three album set. Yeah, <laughs> for this one, yeah, each, each sleeve was different. Uh, wouldn't have been the original one, but uh, the great, great Motown label. But yeah, it's certainly very enjoyable. You know, it's got all the hits, everything you're looking for. But yeah, this uh, particular anthology series was pretty good. Um, and certainly, the I think the value uh, with the vinyl is quite good as well. And then I've got one more uh, to show you from the anthology series. I was able to pick this up. Uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips anthology. This one is a two-album set. Uh, not a three-album set, but they do have the track listings there. But Gladys Knight, what a terrific vocalist. Unbelievable. Such great songs. Heard it through the grapevine. Still love their rendition of that one. And, uh, you know, they even do Tracks of My Tears on here. Really nice selection overall.
And this, again, certainly representing their Motown years. So it hasn't got all the big, big hits like uh, Midnight Train to Georgia. That was on another label. But uh, certainly a nice uh, overall of their fairly brief uh, Motown years. And it opens up like that on the inside. Very nice. Okay, and that's uh, going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do believe we'll have another unboxing for you tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, hit like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.